Hello everyone, this is Javelin and welcome back to my channel, English Tutor Hub. Well, today we're gonna look at a grammar lesson. Yes, that can be confusing, can be tricky, but it's important to learn. Now, for many English learners, prepositions can be a little bit tricky, can be confusing because there are no rules to follow. So, in this lesson, we are gonna specifically look at transportation prepositions by, in, and on related to transportation that would help make your speech easy. Alright? So, let's get started. Now, the first preposition that we're going to look at is by. When do you use by? When we are talking about general ways of travel or transport. So, for example, how do you travel? I travel by car. My daughter travels by van when she goes to school. When he goes to Australia, he goes by plane. So, these are vehicles. By car, by van, by plane. These are vehicles, right? Transportation vehicles, but here, if you see, we have sea, road, and air. Well, these are transportation environments or the surface. So, by is also used for transportation environment or the surface like sea, road, and air. Examples. I went by sea. We are traveling to Bangkok by road. Oh, we are gonna go by air. They are going to go by air. So, we are using the transportation preposition by when we are talking about general ways of travel. So, when we are using the preposition by, again, we are using the preposition by when talking about general ways of travel. So, you have the example. You travel by you travel by car. You travel by van. You travel by plane. And you also travel by sea, road, and air. Or you can also use another transportation surface that's called rail. Alright? So, I hope you're clear with the use of the preposition by. Now, let's have a look at with preposition in related to transportation. People get a little confused using preposition in or on. Now, after several rules, in or on are used to talk about a specific vehicles like nothing in general but something in specific that's confusing, right? So, which one do we choose? In or on? Well, I have an idea for you. What you can do is, let's talk about the vehicles 
that we can sit inside we cannot stand up inside this vehicle slide again let's think about a vehicle wherein you cannot stand up you can sit and you cannot stand up inside this vehicle slide for example in a car in a car in a taxi in a truck in a rowboat in a helicopter so guys again in is used for vehicles where you can sit and cannot stand up inside these vehicles okay so the vehicles that we can sit only inside are car in a car in a truck in a helicopter in a taxi in a rowboat as you can see guys you cannot stand in this you cannot stand in these vehicles right especially when they are in motion so the vehicles that you can sit inside you will end up using the preposition in for example here jake and jude hey jude where are you oh i'm in the car so i'm talking about being in a car and i am using a preposition in because i am sitting in a car i cannot stand up in a car you cannot stand in a car well probably a kid can stand but that doesn't make sense all right just make sure that you use a preposition in when you are talking about a specific vehicle and in the vehicle that you can sit inside vehicle that you can sit inside and not stand while in motion so you sit in a car you sit in a truck you sit in a helicopter <clears throat> you sit in a taxi and you sit in a rowboat all right guys next let's have a look at using a preposition on what is the difference between preposition in and on well when you use a preposition on you can use it only of course when you are talking about a specific vehicles where you can stand or walk while the vehicle is in motion okay so again on preposition on is used when talking about a specific vehicle wherein you can stand or walk while the vehicle is in motion right so let's take a look the plane yes on a plane example here hey hey team where are you i'm on a plane we're gonna take off okay so on the plane we just gonna take off on the plane of course you can stand while you're inside 
and while the plane is in motion so again pat is calling to tim hey tim where are you and tim answered i'm on a plane we're gonna take off okay guys so again on a plane you can stand up you can sit down and you can even walk on a plane so on a plane a vehicle wherein you can stand you can sit or even walk you use a preposition on and next here gym gym is on train going to vietnam next paul paul is on bicycle going to school so guys and here on ferry on motorbike on ship on foot and others okay so these vehicles you can stand up you can walk while the vehicles is in motion okay so oh here another example again guys here on ferry on ship so the ship is used and when it's in the water and it's in motion you can stand up and you can even sit down of course you can sleep you can walk around so that's your ship you're gonna be using preposition on again so on ferry on ship on motorbike on foot and others okay Next. So again guys another example on train going to Bangkok on bicycle well when you are riding the bicycle say on bicycle if you are riding on a bicycle you are on the bicycle so bicycle you have to use on you are sitting but you can also stand while look at this example you are sitting in a, on a bicycle but you can also stand while riding it on motorbike okay it's gonna be on motorbike and not in motorbike because you're not sitting somewhere and then and then you have here on foot and others so next year so what guys what's the most common ways of transport well with walking when we talk about walking what's the preposition we end up using it is the preposition on well example how did you go to to the market well we went on foot all right how did you go to the playground oh we went on foot so don't forget that the most common ways of transport well with walking when we talk about walking what's the preposition we end up using it is the preposition on so the most common ways of transport is on foot how did you go to the market well we went on foot all right how did you go to the playground oh we went on foot so if you're gonna use the preposition on for foot because you're standing on your feet right so it's gonna be on foot and not in foot 
because you are standing on your feet all right and then the animals the animals guys now it's not just vehicles yes there are people also they're on the horse or on a camel yes so animals for animals we we use on when you travel on an animal from one place to another you can also use another preposition onto only for animals again you can also use another preposition onto only for animals okay so like for example animals now is not just vehicles yes there are people who also they're on the horse or on a camel like in dubai yes we do have a we do have a camel ride and in many places we have a horse ride to get from one place to the other so what would you say when you are on an animal you are gonna use a preposition on so i'm on a horse i'm on a camel we get on a camel ride when we were in dubai i'm on an elephant okay so you can also use another preposition on to only for animals not for other vehicles it's gonna be a preposition on when talking where you can stand and walk while the vehicle is in motion you use on and you will use a preposition in when you're again talking about specific vehicle however in this vehicle you cannot stand you have to get inside and sit in this vehicle you gonna use the preposition in and you gonna use the preposition by when you're talking in general about travel all right so so guys here rest review by by is used when we are talking about general ways of travel or transport in is used for vehicles where you can sit and cannot stand up on is used when talking about a specific vehicle wherein you can stand or walk while the vehicle is in motion we use on when you travel on an animal from one place to another you can also use another preposition onto only for animals okay guys so i hope this is clear to you just take down these examples and i am sure the next time you try to use these prepositions related to travel or transportation i am sure you will use it correctly so there we are you just watch a complete tutorial about transportation prepositions i'll be back with a new lesson please subscribe hit the thumbs up button share and let me know your thoughts and questions love to hear from you thank you very much my name's javelin saying thank you very much